Good evening. Once again, I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. Officials in New Jersey say high winds and dry conditions have helped fuel a massive wildfire. It's burned thousands of acres in Wharton State Forest in Burlington County, about 30 miles northwest of Atlantic City. CBS 2's Madeline Wright, live tonight in Vince Town, Vincent Town, with the latest for us. Madeline. Maurice Christine, one of the biggest challenges with this wildfire is that it keeps jumping back and forth across the Mullica River, and it's in such a remote area that firefighters can't get all of their equipment back there. For context, the wildfire is this large red rectangle, and right now we are at this X, the incident command post. It's projected to become the largest wildfire in the Garden State since 2007. The Mullica River fire has burned 11,000 acres in Wharton State Forest and is expected to grow to 15,000 acres. The conditions were dangerous and the fuels were dry and we had to step back and use an indirect attack. Officials say the wind-fueled wildfire threatens 18 structures, including some buildings on a blueberry and cranberry farm. The smoke is getting worse. About 50 people were evacuated from nearby campgrounds, including Jeremy Savo, organizer of the music festival Beard Fest. We had our team of about maybe 30 people and we we just scrambled nearby roads including parts of routes 206 and 542 are shut down as crews work to get the fire under control it's 50 percent contained investigators have ruled out natural causes illegal campfires campfires that are not fully extinguished continue to pose a great risk you can see just how scorched the earth is. People as far away as Galloway Township, which is 22 miles away, reported seeing smoke from the wildfire and seeing ash falling on their cars. <laughs> Officials are using a chopper to monitor the fire from above. On the ground, Jeremy Savo hopes the fire won't spread to the campgrounds he evacuated. Right now we have like stages, sound systems, tents, someone's car, an RV, like thousands of dollars of music equipment. It's all there. We can't get in. Officials are hoping to have the fire 100% contained by midnight, but say it won't be fully under control until the next big rainfall. Live in Vincenttown, Madeline Wright, CBS 2 News.